Good morning. So uh, today I think I want to work on uh, Snippet Pixie's CLI to add a uh, copy snippet command. Um, but oh yeah, so this is a uh, <laughs> last night I um I contribute a little bit to um the Wales project. Um, in, I think it was in my last video, it might have been the video before, um, but what I was finding was that I couldn't do um, this, Wales Dev, um, and then pass in app arcs to the binary. Um, with the change that I submitted, this should now work. So when Snippet Pixie comes up, it should be in search and paste mode with all the shortcuts and no buttons and so on. So I contributed that to um, to Wales last night. Um, but I don't really want to keep that in the project at the moment. So I'll just roll that back on Snippet Pixie itself. Um, yeah. And then actually I'll close that off and I'll make sure it's clean. Because that would have updated a bunch of stuff. So let's do this. Be back to square one. I'll do make. Actually, I should do a make tidy. Hmm, back to that error again there. Ah, okay. I just thought I had that problem with test as well. Hmm. I don't think Let me just double check. I think that might be something I potentially can fix up. So yeah, I fixed that problem by using the dev flag, but Don't suppose I can do that with tidy.
Hmm. Okay. Not sure I can get around it there then. Because if I do this. Yeah, tags are explicitly mentioned. It's not a global thing. It's a bit strange. Hmm. I wonder if I um if I switch back. Interesting, okay. So clearly there's um there's a bug fix somewhere. In uh, master for Wales that I haven't got. Okay. I just have to live without that then. It's fine for the moment and it'll come down with the next beta or release. We'll just have to deal with it. Everything's fine. Just can't do the tidy at the moment because of um, I can't skip the uh, the tags there to fix that problem. Okay. Um, so um, what do I want to do? So what I want to do is I'll do it down on. At the moment, oh, I'll just do this. So if um, if I run the GUI, oh, wrong method, I want to do search and paste. So in this mode, I can pick 
um, something. Let's pick something that's not at the top there. Let's say I won't be able to even reproduce that. Let's do. Snip it, pixie. If I hit that and do, I have to do shift, but uh, because I'm on a terminal as the background app. But if I hit return on that, it does a paste. And the way it does that is it puts it into the pasteboard um, and then does a key code to paste at the end. Um, what I haven't got at the moment is any way in. Um, CLI to do anything like get a snippet into the paste pasteboard. Um, I do have expand, so I can do this. And, um, it'll be easier to see. I just used the wrong thing there. I missed it. Miss the control A. Right, if I uh, beef this up a little bit. Um, if I do snippet pixie um, expand, and because I'm using back ticks, I need to enclose it in quotes. You get the full snippet pixie. Uh, same thing if I were to do a depth, which is what I use for renaming my videos every day. Um, so that's expanded the date. Um, but if I were to um, use list, you'd see that the actual snippet is always developing and then a date. Um, template as such. Can't remember what the word is now. Placeholder. Clearly need more coffee. Um, but it won't have been put into the pasteboard. So if I do a control V, I've got snippet pixie, so I haven't got anything else. Um, after doing the expand of ADEP. So what I want is a copy command, I think. So let's do that. Don't need that or that. That we're not doing gooey stuff today. Okay, so what we will be doing is these and probably that. Um, so at the moment, um, Super Pixie. Help. You see, we've got add, expand, export, import, list, and remove. I think I want to add a copy command, um, which copies a snippet's body with eva evaluated placeholders to the paste board. That's quite a good idea. Let's nick that. Um, and if I do help expand, yeah, all we're doing is abbreviation string. Um, so if you're scripting and you always wanted to pass in explicitly abbreviation um, in case, instead of just passing in as a string. So let's do that. So we're basically going to copy expand, but using a slightly different command. 
So if we do make test verbose here, let's test, we've got a test configs um, and we've got the test of the init fail as well. So let's go build some tests for what we want and then we'll try and fulfill it. It'd be I'm probably not going to be able to test the actual print into the pasteboard, but we'll see. So I think we're basically going to copy the export here, uh, sorry, the expand. So we've got, this is the happy path stuff going on here. So we've got expand SP should end up with a command expand abbreviation uh, with the arguments um, abbreviation SP. Um, and then we've got variations of that using the long and short. And then we've got like a failure condition there. Uh, basically, where it's, it kind of does the right thing, it will tr try and do that, but it's just going to return nothing. So we expect um, it to still work as such as a command, but it just returns nothing, which is fine. There's no, no problem there. And I'll add it just here. And I think we'll keep the same basic format here. So we'll have copy abbreviation. No, I think we'll just have copy. Maybe copy snippet. Um, yeah. So I'll change expand to copy. I did one too many there. It's only four. Okay. Um, and I want to change expand abbreviation to copy. Okay. So we've got four new tests. We're going to use copy SP, copy abbreviation, copy dash A, and copy does not exist. And they should all fail. So if I run those tests, fail. Good. So we're getting usage here, saying blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Doesn't tell me that it doesn't exist though. Hmm. So we'll have to go fix that in a minute. And then in here, we're going to do roughly the same 
we've got failure conditions here. Do that. So if you pass copy without a abbreviation or with just a tab or a non existent flag, um, it should fail. And I'm not sure we're going to get as far as seeing that, are we? Oh, yeah, we will actually. It's always going to fail. The only way that would actually fail to fail would be if I were to do something like that. He says, Oh, no, it's always going to fail because we don't have a copy. Uh, okay, now we're good. <laughs> so a fail here is good, it's a pass. Um, yeah, so if I had actually, so let me redo that so I'll get a failure. And so if I did this instead, this should fail the init fail tests. Yeah, because we've got a pass. We didn't get any usage message. Right, yeah, okay, so. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's make these pass. What we need is to have a duplicate of this. We want something to pass a sub command for copy It's more there than I thought it was going to be. I keep forgetting just how much you have to do to make sure things are robust. So, init copy. So it's a new flag set for copy. Its usage message is copy abbreviation. Um, but we're going to have an abbreviation flag as well.
So we set up an abbreviation as a string, potential string flag. Uh, if we're displaying help, we just use usage. Oh yeah, I'll have to update that. Um, we pass the flags, hopefully that goes OK. Um, and then we go down and we look to see whether abbreviation has been set. And if it does, and we pass it in, the trim space. And then if it hasn't been changed, and we don't have a single argument, then we show usage and we get out. Otherwise, we take the first argument as an abbreviation. If the abbreviation has a length of zero, which can't really happen because we're doing trim space, um, it's a bit of a catch all, I suppose. And I might, oh yeah, because I might at some point take the trim space off because in theory, you could have an abbreviation which maybe sort of ends with the space. Um, it's not a great idea though. Um, and then, yeah, the command should be copy and we expect an abbreviation. So let's look at um, if we're doing help, we might need to do usage, in which case we need a copy line. And we might just need to have a second tab in there because it's four characters. Output a snippet's body with evaluated placeholders. So it's copy actually. To the paste board. Okay. Now that in theory covers the config. Let's test it. Pass. But it's not actually doing anything. We do have the config working though. So what we need is to basically do this. We need to catch a copy. In fact, we want minimal here. We don't want to return anything. So we'll take that one. Uh, he says that didn't happen. Now take that one. We're doing a copy. Copy snippet. Mm. Ah, skip last used, of course, forgot about that. So I wanted to be able to add an argument that says, okay, do the copy, but don't update the last used.
Hmm. Okay. So that means we want Well, we've got, we're basically going to do this here. We need to do a second argument to the thing and we want to make sure there's a boot rule. But it should be something like Update last used. And why is that complaining now? Oh, yeah. We don't expect an error back. That's fine. But we need to deal with this now. We need to use update last used in the config and make sure it comes in. So back to config test. Um, You'll see in list, we're using the flag there. Oh, I don't want it to be update, I want it to be skip. We want to skip the update. So that means I can use a single single build flag like this. Um, so hmm. in the test. We need to update all these on the copy. Let's make sure I get the formatting right. Yeah. So there, and copy, 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 and copy. I want to add skip last used. Um, and we'll have false by default. And then we're going to copy the copies. And then we're going to add some arguments. So let's do that one, that one, that one, and that one, and we'll append long form skip 
last used. Now in this list stuff, I was using minus U. For the short, I'll do that this time as well, I think. So in here, I'll just do that. And then on these four that I've just added, we expect it to be true. Because we're passing in skip last used. Skip last years, short form minus used, and I'll keep it long form there as well. Okay. I think that's all we can do on that. Can't make any more changes to that. Could we? <clears throat> we could actually, I think. If we do that. They should both still fail because we're not getting an abbreviation. I think we will see. So we should get a bunch of failures still now. Yeah, and the unit power doesn't fail because it's picked up on their failures. That's good. Uh, abbreviation, blah, blah, blah. We didn't get the false. Okay. That's good. Okay. Let's go. Add some stuff. So I want to nick some stuff from the list. I want something like that. Skip last used. Skip last used. And then I want to say this is skip. Um, do not update last used date. Uh, 
and then more just nicking code. Don't really need it. Should be fine. Just need to take that. There's no more real processing. Just need to use the flag. So skip last used should be set if the if that's passed in and by default it's false which is good um, and in main I need to do I already got it. That's right. Skip last year's where you did it. Okay, let's test, pass, um, what does that mean? Are we actually at the point of, being able to do it? I think we are. It might actually work now. Because we've implemented this, which we already had. I had that yesterday. So let's make and test it. So in my paste bin at the moment, I have a whole bunch of rubbish. So if I do snippet pixie copy and then I just pass it a dep that okay did that work it was a zero response that's good and what's in my paste board? Expanded snippet. Excellent. Okay, and if I run snippet pixie GUI, let's take a quick make here just in case. Um, search and paste mode, we should have a dep as the first item. Okay. And snippet pixie is the last. If I run CLI again and do a copy um, SP again, let's say. I have snippet pixie is that. If I run the GUI again, it should be first. It is. Good. Okay, so they're joining up, they're recognizing it because it was all in the database. Um, and if I run the 
yeah, we've got Snapper Pixie has a date on it. None of the others do. do the URL so it's there I'm on the GUI SPU's at top that's great okay and it should have a date on it now and it does whereas before it didn't have the uh, Unix epoch. Smart. Um, so I'll just go back to there and I'll just do snippet pixie copy without anything. Should get usage. Uh, snippet pixie copy abbreviation. Ah, yeah, I need to say here. Yeah, I need to add bit more about the flags and things. It's not quite right. Um, where else would I have seen that? Well, not on list, because it'll just do all of them. Or if I break it, maybe I can see something. Yeah, so what I want to do is put in flags here and then in brackets the search string or abbreviation or whatever so I need to update the usage there why not I'm not using that syntax often really How do you say you need that more flag? Because that is optional. Maybe I shouldn't. Let's do that. Can I do it that way though? So can I do minus u we did URL last didn't we? So let's do a tab. Yeah, it's worked. Yeah, and it didn't update. That's good. Okay, I think we're good. Everything's working. Cool. 
Right, let's save this off then. Job done. Well, that's good. Um, so I'll leave it there for today. Um, it's good to have another feature added. Um, we're getting very close now to uh, wrapping up just bits and bobs, a um, bit of tidying up to do. Um, and then it's uh, sort of the polishing and packaging and getting things working and consistently um, and making it usable for day in day out use so we'll have to start tackling that kind of stuff now okay uh, till next time thanks for watching you take care